as exquisitely crafted as Game of Thrones Season 7 is. It's a fair criticism that the plot is being a little hurried through. We focus on this in our review of the latest episode, with the season having been likened to a tabletop RPG that's sped up because everyone has to go home soon. This is true of some characters more than others though, which has led to a chronology that's a little hard to believe. Okay, it's a little pedantic to obsess over distances traveled. But I'm sure the thought so dot 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 the White Walkers are still marching? Has crossed even the mind of a very casual viewer, redditor u slasher Coburn 67 plotted a map of John and the White Walkers movements since they clashed at hard home in season 5, and the difference in distance is pretty stark, zing, John has been careening around the north, visiting Bear Island and making multiple trips to and from Castle Black also heading a hell of a long way south to Dragonstone. Meanwhile, the Night King and his army have managed to make only a short trip from Hard Home to East Watch at the edge of the wall. As of episode 7, with 8 episodes left, they probably need to speed up. Sure, John has the benefits of boats and horse-drawn wagons, but the White Walkers can, you know, walk constantly without ever needing to sleep. They might want to pick up the pace then, especially given a splinter cell is already heading for them.